Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons where I'm going to check the weather quickly. Now if you remember last time, we're going to have a sunny day. Yes, yeah, sunny day. If you remember last time, I, uh, I wasn't too sure. I, before I look at any more stuff on the TV, I'm actually going to go outside and just see if my, if my seeds are still there. They seem to still be there, so they may have gone backwards in time or, or, or whatever. But they are at least still surviving. So that's very good. I'm very happy about that. Hey B. Good morning. So super happy about that. That means I can maybe pick up a chicken today. Which would be amazing. Right, so let's pop along to the forge and see if my stuff is ready. If I'm allowed in. I'm not allowed in till ten. Oh man, that's ages away. I can't do my watering until then. <laughs> um, what am I going to do till then? Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go and give the little dudes some presents. I'll give Sunny some honey and I'll give everyone else some berries. And hopefully they will be my friends. Because they're getting my grapes like every day. Hello. Great. Oh, you need something from me? No, I do not. Let's go down the secret path and find our little nature sprites. Who I do very much love. So I've got a foal. I wonder whether, like, I, I imagine I need a grown horse for the derby, though. Right. Sunny. Here's some honey. Wow, yay, thank you, thank you. I love it a super duper lot. Okay. Blueberry. Grapes for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it to bits. I wonder if you do need to give them things that are like their colour. I'd be interested. We only send tea party invitations to our bestest friends. Do you need something? Never mind. Don't wanna. Okay, let's give you. I don't like this much. That's interesting. So blueberry loves them so much, and honey loves them so much, but plum not so much. Bring me tea parties. Lots and lots of friends come to our tea parties. Do you need something? Never mind. So I imagine Pumpkin probably likes pumpkins. And I imagine that uh, Cherry probably likes cherries. And Mint probably likes mint. Aqua probably likes water. Oh! Well, guess what? If I go to the inn, I can get water for free. I wonder if it's open yet. And I wonder if I can give that to Aqua as a present. That'd be cool, right? Okay. I'm gonna go get some free water. And try and give it to Aqua. What? Ah, okay, yeah, buy the water. Oh right, so it's not a carry out menu. So anything that you ha that you get here, you drink straight away. Oh. Well. How am I gonna take water to Aqua then? Hmm. I do find it super amusing. I'll keep the grapes for blueberry then. So we found two of the things that the sprites love the most, which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find any of those um, flowers anywhere as well. I'll need to have a good look around the place every day. Oh, it's probably time that I can get my watering can back, thank goodness. The couple watering can is finished, go on, take it home with you. Thank you. So probably won't be upgrading that until I know I've got a couple of days of, of sun. But that should hopefully be a lot easier for me for the rest of the season. It was a bit painful while I was like, oh, no, I don't think I can do anything. Okay. 
cool. Uses a bit of stamina to do, but that's fine. That's a lot quicker than the other way. And it's nice because it, it's quite... You, you don't accidentally take your finger off the button. It's, it's quite... Um, you get a good a sort of haptic feedback thing going on with the, the controller and everything when it, it does sort of get to be the time to... You, f you kind of feel it. No. That's irritating. So you don't tend to make as many mistakes. Okay, so let's fill the can up. This is going to be much faster to water and as a result I'm going to be able to do much more planting because I was a little concerned about doing planting while I didn't have this sort of functionality. then the watering is so difficult all right so we've got um i just want to check the calendar and see how many days left of the season we've got i think quite a few yeah we've got a good couple of weeks so we could definitely just plant whatever we want and it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow i'm not going to lose my seeds am i i'm pretty sure it said it would be a sunny day Now I do need to keep going with the education and the entertainment and stuff. Beginning life on the farm. Bro, hey bro, what is it? Is there no way to return the soil to normal after tilling it? There is, you put a stone on it. Or put a, uh, put a stick on it. Or you hammer it. See, I'm so clever, I know everything. Wow! What if I've already watered it? No worries whether you've watered it or not. The soil will return to its original state. Good to know. Entertainment. Oh, it's the fishing channel. All right. Okay, Mr. F oh, Fisher. Mr. Fisher. We've read this before, though. So sometimes it repeats. That's good, because that means if I miss something, then I, I might get a repeat of it. News. Oh, yeah, that just tells me what's going on. Okay. Fine, good stuff. Nice having a chat with you, TV. So we've watered everything. So I'm thinking I want to go and get some more different kinds of seeds. Maybe some potatoes or something like that. I wanted to go to the library yesterday and check out some of the timings on things. But I wasn't able to go because it was too late. I think I'm going to be too late for the shop if I go in the library now. I'm just going to go get some potato seeds, I think. Before the shop closes. Welcome! See, it produces multiple yields. I think I might start on the multiple yields. So, well, we're on the ninth. We've missed a week of it. So it'll take probably a week to grow or something like that. And then I'll get another two, a week and a half to two weeks worth. You know what? Why not? We'll grab a couple of them. And then some potato seeds as well. So we're going to start getting really good with our stuff now. We're going to get loads of more stuff planted. I've got 450 gold left. So it's going to take a few days before I can get my first chicken. But I think crops are probably just the way to go right now. Um, they give me bigger yields. Even though the chicken will be a bigger long term yield over the course of the game. I think uh, having good short-term yields at the beginning of the game is good, and then, and then we'll change to the short-term ones. So, let's hoe that one in. We'll finish this one, and then I'll start putting a new row in to the right. Okay, Zach. Hello. Welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to get some of the seeds out of the toolbox. Maybe we'll put this, the cucumber seeds down the bottom there. So I probably don't need my axe right now, so I'll just put that away. I probably will need my hoe again, though. Right, so these two will just be for cucumbers. Lovely. 
Lovely. And I will need to water them as well. And I don't have much time left. So I'm thinking that maybe with the... We'll get the cucumber seeds in first because they're going to take the longest. Um, so if we get them all nice and sorted out. If I have any more time, I'll just till one square at a time for the potatoes. And then we'll do any that are left over in the morning. It doesn't hurt to have the harvesting spread out a little bit. Lovely! What a nice big farm we're getting here. I just want to get rid of those things so badly. I'm like, oh, they're so in the way. But it'll probably be a year or two before I can really get around to that. I have said hello to my horse. Uh, I will be getting a brush as soon as I can as well. A brush and a chicken. Okay, I'm a little bit worn out now. So, bedtime? Or can I finish that off? I think I could probably get away with finishing it off. What? Oh, where's my hammer? Oh, no! I was not expecting that. That's clearly where I whack my moles. When I'm tilling the ground and a mole pops up. I can whack it with my hammer. But I was... Very, I was too slow because it took me by surprise. I was like, what? There's a mole. Do I even have my hammer on me? Ah. But I, I clearly did. So I'm going to leave these um, for tomorrow. I'm going to go and have a sleep. And then we'll do some more planting on the morn. And whose birthday is it? Saibara. I'll take him a piece of copper. That might be a good present. For a blacksmith, you know. Wars and gems, 45 gold. Yay! Nom nom breakfast time. Look at all these grapes. Blueberry will be so happy. I'm keeping the grapes now because as it turns into like summer and autumn, we might not get grapes anymore. It might be a bit seasonal. Obviously, I'll give the honey to Sunny every day I have honey. Okay, so, looks like these, those still look watered to me, which is a bit weird. I'd imagine they would need more watering, but maybe the water lasts a couple days, I don't know. Maybe you only need to water them while they're seedlings or something. Oh, it doesn't actually look as watered as I thought it was. Now I compare it to the rest. Let's try and water it and see if it changes colour. Yes, so it does need doing. Got to be careful then that I, I make sure I try to water everything every day just in case I, I miss it because those may have taken extra time to grow because I thought that they looked a bit a bit darker soil and they looked watered and they're not. It just looks like the soil very slightly darkens or it's just an optical illusion. It just looks darker around the... Um, I think it might actually be a shadow or an optical illusion that made them look slightly darker to me. It might not even look that way to you guys. Might need a little time in the spa after this. Gosh, it's hard work. I've got plenty of time, so I make sure I'll just like get everything watered every day. Oh, I need some more water in my can. And once I've watered everything, I will go and plant the potatoes in the two that I've done. And then once I've done that, if I need to go to the spa, I will. If I do not, then I will just uh, start digging some more plots for the other potatoes. Hello! It's a good little one. Hurry up and grow strong, okay? Yeah. Right. My potatoes must be in my toolbox. There's two of them. 
Gotta look out for moles. Not that I'm too worried about moles. Okay, I think we need to go and have a little spa visit now. Or oh, my character's gonna start complaining about stamina issues. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, Shilab, hello. You wouldn't happen to have seen Officer Harris out and about, would you? Most days I do, yeah. I haven't today. No, well, I'll wait a little longer then. You're familiar with his patrol route, yes? He ought to be passing by here before terribly long. Thus, I thought to wait here for him. I have something I'd like to give him. Here he comes. Hello, Miss Jennifer, and hello to you too, Sheilab. Hello, Officer Harris. I've been waiting for you. You have? The other day, you were walking down the mountain in the dark and happened to twist your ankle, did you not? Goltz was kind enough to inform me. Goodness, it's amazing how quickly rumours make their way through town. Well, there's only like ten people, I'm not surprised. But yes, you heard rightly, I'm embarrassed to admit that I tripped over my own two feet and twisted my ankle. Fortunately enough, it wasn't all that bad, it had healed by morning. Considering you have the protection of the mountain spirits, I doubt that any truly grave accident would befall you. But knowing that you patrol these paths gives me peace of mind as I cloister myself within my tent. Thus I thought I might give you this in gratitude for all the good you do for our community. This is a power stone. It is imbued with positive energy so it will protect you from accident and harm. This mountain abounds with good energy and power stones are plentiful. This one happened to be the strongest I found. I hope you'll find it to your liking. Goodness, a gift for me? Thank you very much for your kindness and consideration. I'm sure this will be most effective. I gladly accept your thoughtful gift and will take good care of it. Now then, I'd best return to my patrol, if you'll please excuse me. Of course, good day, Officer Harris. You know, it's hard to shake the feeling that poor Officer Harris is struggling under an unlucky sign. Not in terms of health, though. I have little worry that illness or injury will befall him. No, I speak of romance. I hope that Power Stone will counteract some of his poor luck and bring him into alignment with an auspicious star. Aw, I'm sure it was no coincidence you happened to be here, Shelab. I thought I'd give you a stone as well. But I get the impression you don't need it. I feel a strong energy about you, as if you have spiritual protection. You know, I have wondered for all this for some time now, but what exactly are you, Shelab? I don't know. I wish you would have given me a stone, though. I would have been well cool. Oh, look, a doofer. For me. Nom nom nom. I need to look behind like every tree and every rock. Because there might be a power stone hidden anywhere in someone's drawers. There is, is that a monkey? Oh my goodness, there was a monkey! Oh, so cool. Mother's Hill Summit. Alright, so it seems like we've done everything around here right now. Hello! Karen, hello, a friend was just telling me about how somebody moved into that old farmhouse, so that's you, huh? You're Sheila, I've got it? I'm Karen. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, you know, I really like hanging out here. Me too, because there is a spa here, and that's what I actually came to do. There's also a blue flower there that I can ship. I don't know if it's like ship enough of them overall or ship enough at once. We shall stay in here for a little while. Enough to plant my potatoes at least. So it'll get past six o'clock and then it starts to get crazy so yeah maybe i'll just leave it at that but i sort of balance the time against the stamina gain oh it's five o'clock again and i still haven't been to the woodcutter's place it's every time 
all got a chicken. Those are the things I want to do this episode. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is to water what I've got down already. And then we'll look at planting the next batch, basically. Because what I don't want to do is mess it up. You know, you get a little bit of time to sort of learn at the beginning what to do with things, but I, I don't want to mess things up any more than I already have. And it does seem like on the dry days those seeds stayed put, so I think I think it was Gleaner Heights that actually nicked that mechanic. Maybe not nicked, but like, uh, appropriated that mechanic. Um, and so that was where I learned it. I, I could be wrong, but I think that, that might be a thing. I think maybe cow's illness is a thing in this as well, because that was a thing in that. I'm beeping every hour because I'm like behind on taking a pill. So they're like, ah, 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 take it now. I'm like, don't need to yet. I can take it just when I finish, okay? My phone likes to remind me to take medication and to uh, put the bins out. That's the two things it does. And sometimes it wakes me up, but very rarely. All right, that was a good day's work, she lab. Don't you worry. And for the rest of the night, I'm gonna just pick up a few, but a few weeds, okay? Oh, my bag is full. Oh, nightmare. Okay, there's a few things I think I want to put into my cabinet. So I want to keep at the moment this stack of nine copper. I want to keep that in my cabinet. I want to start keeping a little bit of wood in my cabinet as well. But I'll sell the weeds and the scrap ore. Um, and the rest cannot be kept. But the blue thing I'm going to ship as well. So, so I'm going to ship scrap ore. Bamboo shoot. And the blue grass. And then we'll do a little bit more weeding. So there's there's a few little weeds around the place where I've already weeded. And I like to just keep them tidy first. And then just push this all back. If you look at my farm now. You can see it's looking a lot more. A lot more um, neat and tidy. You can see all the potatoes and the cucumbers that I've planted. And I'm just slowly pushing these weeds back. We're about a third of the way through. And there's going to be a few things that I might be able to hit with my hammer. And things like that. I'll try it when I've got some stamina spare. But I figure I can get rid of all the small stuff first. This is one of my favourite things to do. I actually really do enjoy playing... Um, I haven't played it in a little while, but I enjoy playing Visceral Cleanup de Detail for exactly the same reason. So I like tidying up. Yeah, I enjoy cleaning and tidying up. I don't have the time to do it a lot of the time. I could really do with the cleaners coming and clean for me while I'm asleep or something, and then I can just spend all my time recording. Okay, I think it's time to run home now. But yeah, this is definitely getting neater. It's getting less weedy, more things growing there. So I'm super happy with that. I have a lot of watering to do every day as well. So let's have a look at the TV. It will be a bright and sunny day today. But I want to know if it's going to be a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Because if it is, I might be able to... I might be able to plant something. Yes, it's going to be nice and bright and sunny tomorrow as well. So th on the downside, that means it will be a day where I have to do a lot of watering. But on the plus side, it's going to be a day where I have a lot of... Um... Gosh, look at all these weeds to sell. My goodness me. Of course, that does make sense. I sold all of those to get some honey and some grapes. And we might. I didn't get to go and see Sunny and um, 
and what's this, and, and, and blueberry yesterday. I think that'll be my first ones that'll be my friends, definitely. Oh, look, Blueberry's at three. What about Sunny? Are you at three as well? No, Sunny's at two. I think I've given Blueberry one more present than Sunny. But I wonder how many notes you have to have with them to be their friend. Hmm. Good morning, B. There's a good little one. Hurry up and go strong. I don't want to go anywhere too early on because it won't be open so the easiest thing to do I think would be to spend the morning watering while things aren't open by the time I've done all the watering everything will be open now I want to see if the carpenters is open today carpenters is the only place I haven't been in terms of shopping and it might be where I'll get my fishing rod so worth a try anyway That has been a touch, touch of a mystery, that one. I'm liking how this is scaling up quite quickly. I'm getting quite a lot of money in already. So I'm not, not like super struggling, like planting three things and then struggling to... Yay! What you can upgrade it again. So if I have 2,000, I can upgrade that again at the, at the forge. But it's going to take two days this time. So I'll either need to do it like at the end of the season, just like when I'll plant my last, I'll harvest my last bits of crops and then maybe have a day or two be between. That sometimes happens in these sorts of games. That would be an ideal time uh, to maybe get an upgrade. Or I can just maybe leave the, the seeds for a day or two. Oh no! Oops. Uh, for a day or two without being tended to. Might get away with that. If I water them and then hand it in. And then it's a rain... Especially if it's a rainy day the next day. I would definitely get away with it. So... But that would rely on me having a piece of silver ore. Which I do not have right now. So that would rely on me being able to get down in the mines. Which doesn't seem to be happening very easily right now. So what I might be better off doing is maybe upgrading my hoe and seeing whether I can... I know power attacks don't work in the mine, but maybe the hoe would work? Okay, I need to be careful now because I'm running out of stamina. But I think I have enough just to do these last bits. Some grapes there. They didn't do very much though, so I'm better off giving them as presents. I, I feel I did have a few spare, so I want. I thought I'd check. Um. It's nice that you get the spa from the very beginning though. This is the last one I need to do. Okay. Oh, this watering cans run out. So I don't think I really want much more than this planted because I'm already struggling a little bit until maybe I've got a kitchen or something. But I'm going to go and, and have a little soak and also go and see the woodsman. Golly gosh, is it taking stamina away from me? Pick things up, I hope not. Hello! Yo, what can I do for you? Um, buy stuff, please. Lumber, material stone, an apple tree, a grape tree, an orange tree, and a clock, cabinet, TV. No fishing rod though. Upgrades, a slightly bigger house with a kitchen, a coop expansion for 8 animals, a barn expansion for 16 animals, and a town villa which can be built in the south part of town. It's nice to treat yourself sometimes. Oh well that would be that spare plot of land. 
What, you sure? No, but I can't. I can't buy anything. Hello! Well, you still haven't worked out the fishing rod, do you? Oh well. <laughs> Maybe one day. This is where they sell them in the general store or something, I just haven't noticed. <laughs> Let's get in this spa before I knock myself out. I don't have a drink while I'm in the spa. Ah. Ah, that's so much better. Yum yum. Okay, that's enough just that I'm not going to pass out. And that's the main thing. Yeah, the only thing I haven't really found in the game so far is how to do fishing. Very strange. But yeah, I definitely think um, the next stage for me is going to be to get some animals. I don't think that doing any more planting is going to be good for me. It's going to be too much for me to water. So I feel like that would be the, the ideal thing to do. I feel like I maybe should try and see, try and go to church on Sunday and see if anything happens. Could be a thing. My horsey is, like, eating stuff. Yeah, we're definitely trying to get, like, animals and pets and things like that. It's gonna be kind of cool. Let's have a look at the... Wrong map. <laughs> at, the, at the map. See how far I'm getting now. Yeah, definitely we are... Once we do that a little bit at the top there, we'll be about halfway through all of the small bits of weeding that I need to do. Which is really cool. So let's just, let's just like, go up to here, basically. It's super good to do weeding early on, and then you can like sell them for lots of money, and it's cool. And it's now 8 o'clock. My bag is full. Let's put some stuff away in the in the chest, in the shipping bin. So bluegrass. And that's all I'm gonna ship. I know I'm sh only shipping tiny little bits each day, but it's fine. There wasn't a gnome called Turnip, was there? So <laughs> the only green one was Mint. So I, I, I think um, there's a pumpkin. There's a cherry. Was was there a cherry tree down there as well? I don't know. I don't know whether they just like things of their color or whether it's particularly things that are like their name, like Sunny and Honey and and Blueberry and Grapes. I I, I don't know. They seem they just seem very very. Having nine of those truth stones. I don't, I don't know where they're gonna all be. Okay, are we gonna go to bed? Yes, because then I could squidge another day in, I reckon. We can go get a chicken or something. Okay, so tomorrow is gonna be. Sunny again. Education, life on the farm. Hey sis, hey sis. Before we get started, I wanted to say I'm sorry about yesterday. It's okay, what happened? I was feeling a bit over fatigued, so I took a little time off to recuperate. If you ever feel exhausted or like you don't have any stamina left, don't push yourself. Please take the time to rest. If you do keep working, you may well collapse. You got it, sis. Well then, I think that's all for today. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. I like that. You took a day off, and that's why we had the bro one for a day. <laughs> I wonder if you play a male character if you get bro every day and sometimes you get sis. Alright, so. Entertainment. Star Lily Heart Snatcher. Part 1. Patter patter patter. Oh my gosh, Miss Ayami, you're not going to believe this. Toot toot, Sakura, no running in the halls, please. Sakura. Oopsie, I'm sorry, Miss Ayami. Now what is it, Sakura? 
And say, Ami, look, this was delivered to my house this morning. Ah, a letter. Shall I read it? Please do. To be continued. <laughs> okay. Is it a birthday today? It was a birthday yesterday. Oh, nightmare. Okay. I missed it. I are bad. White day. Maybe I'll have to go up to the market square or something for that. Cooking exhibition and the spring derby. So I'll be interested to see those little events coming up. <gasps> Look! My, uh, turnips! I do need to go and see those little imps though. Desperately need to go and see them. I have enough money to replace these. Um, although the shop might, I think the shop might be closed on Thursday. If that's the case, that's the case and we'll just plant them tomorrow. How good is this? We've got some two star ones again, which is really cool. I don't know what affects the star level. I'll have to see if anything lets me know about that at any point. We're getting lots of one star ones. We might be able to eventually maybe make some fertilizer or something to raise the level of the flower beds. The, uh, of the pots. Which would be pretty cool. Maybe I should be talking to them. Oh, my inventory's full. Yeah, okay. Sell, sell, sell. I do wonder whether I should keep a stack, but it doesn't seem like I could just keep these back in my in my thing. That'll be 18, 84. So there'll be another 2,000 for all of these. Making money pretty fast then, aren't I? I'll be planting some more. I'll probably try and keep a, a, a stack or something of them if I can and try and give them as presents or whatever, but I, I don't know if that's going to work. Right, so I think I want to go up to the... I think it's going to be bright and sunny tomorrow again, isn't it? I mean, lots of sunny weather just now. I wonder whether there'll be more in autumn time. But yeah, I need silver before I can upgrade that. Hello! Time to head back home. From what? Was there something going on today? It didn't say in the calendar there was. Maybe they were at the beach or something. Because they're closed on a Thursday, so I wonder if they just take a little day out. What is this place again? Oh, the clinic. Right. This is the shop. Oh, we are open today. Wonderful. So I would like four things of turnips, please. We have to do those. I'm not going to worry about peppers this year, but I probably will try and get some more vine fruits down, um, like earlier on in the season in the summer. We'll make some good money doing that, hopefully. Let's head and get our chicken. Oh, I don't have enough money for chicken. I'll have enough money for chicken tomorrow, though. So that'll be next episode. Just unfortunate I had a harvest. You don't get the money for the harvest until 5 o'clock. So that's all that was about. Otherwise, I would have had money for a chicken. Okay. Let's water these babies. But it will be cool when I get the bigger watering can. However, I might need to adjust my plots to be um, sets of two. So maybe that having the hoe doing four 
and then do a, a big strip of four, and then I could just go along with it. I don't know what I'll do, but at the moment I don't have much of a choice. I can't wait till end game when I get the big like mega thing. I definitely, definitely want to do all of the upgrades of the watering cans, so that's just a thing we're going to be doing. Hello sleepy, sleepy foal. Are you having a rest? Is it hard work being a foal and just walking around the place? Folding, out, folding it up. Oh, I ran out of water. Darn it. So if I just like individually did watering. Oh yeah, that does. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Yeah, you pick up that stuff in my shipping bin. It's a good haul today. Yeah, I never quite have enough stamina. I'm gonna have to find out where like all the rest of them truth gems are and see if there's any like stamina items and things. Ah, uh, I bet there are, but they're hidden somewhere. Probably behind like areas where I need to have upgraded tools though. I bet there's loads of super sneaky secret areas in this game. And I found the the, the statue of the goddess one, so I feel quite accomplished for that. Oh, I ran out of water again! Gurry gur. So just one big sweep and then one individual little water and we are done and it's eight o'clock again and i know i keep going to bed like really early and i do wonder whether that's a mistake whether like you find things at night that you wouldn't find otherwise like going to the beach at night or something so i'm gonna have a little run around just in case Hey Jennifer! Can I for the life of un me understand Mr. Carter, the priest? What a vexing man. What is it he believes in? So I think Jennifer is... Ooh, looks. Oh, yeah. Jennifer is clearly like very much like nature, maybe a druid, maybe um, a... What's it even called? Oh, you can get it from, in from this way. Interesting. Pagan, that's the word. And so I think we've got a, a pagan character and a Christian character. So that's interesting that they, they have a bit of a discourse there. I wonder if I can see the the, uh, the sprites at night time. I wonder if they'll let me in. Aww, it's too late for their little tiny socks. <laughs> So cute. But I have been neglecting them of late, so I do need to go and see them in the morning and uh, also go and see if I can get a chicken. But that's, uh, I think this is going to be the end of the episode now. So we have lots and lots of things going on. I can't remember what quite now. Mostly, mostly plotting. Plotting my plots. <laughs> so if we have a good look now. At the correct map. See, uh, we've got lots and lots of cool stuff all all planted now, which I would never have been able to do without that watering can upgrade. So I'm really happy about that. We've got more turnips planted again. We've got a turnip harvest coming in tomorrow. That should give me enough money for my first chicken, or my first cow, or maybe even both, or maybe a couple of chickens so they could keep each other company. I don't know. We'll see how much they all cost. But I definitely think that that should be possible next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more 
uh, story of seasons and please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.